Hello, welcome to Tim Anderson Horse Training. Today we're going to talk about uh, teaching your horse to back up and making the back up better. Uh, the horse I'm riding today is blue and we're going to see where he's at and I'll give you some tips on how you can make your horse back quicker and straighter and improve your back up. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'll start by, we're just going to walk forward a few steps to begin with. And I'll ask him to stop. Whoa. Now, when I start backing up, what I want to do, I'm not going to just pull back on the reins. I want the horse to pick his feet up and back willingly. So I'm going to take the slack out of my reins. And when he starts to back up, I'll reward that back up. So slack out, reward the back up. That's not too bad right there. He's got his head up. I'd like for him to lower it. I just got on him a minute ago. And uh, as he gets a little bit more warmed up, he'll start backing better. He'll lower his head. So one thing, as you see, we're backing up. I've asked him to back straight, but we've backed a little bit crooked. What's happening right here is he's moving his right side more than he's moving his left side. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take his shoulders, put them back in front of his hips, and then ask him to back again. And back again. Now we got a little bit straighter back up. We're gonna talk about the mechanics of that just a little bit. So when you want your horse to back up, whoa, you want him to take even steps back with both, all four feet and you want him to actually pick his front feet up off the ground. Well what will happen is if they'll pick one foot up higher than the other foot and step big with one foot and little with the other foot, that's going to cause them to back in a curve. So what you do to fix that is if your horse is backing in the curve, you want to take your reins and pick the shoulders up and put them back in front of where the hips were. So right now we're sitting off this direction. If he backs in a curve this way or whichever way, I'm going to take his shoulders and move them back in front of where the hips were so that we'd be facing the same direction. Let me see if we can sh I'll show you what I'm talking about. So he's backing with his hip coming to the right just a little bit. What I'm going to do, I'm not going to correct that in the hip. What I'm going to do is I'm going to correct that in the shoulders. I'll take the shoulders, move them back over the direction that we were facing, and ask him to back again. So I'll show you an exercise that you can use to help refine control of those shoulders. Something I do a good bit of is we will, whoa. We'll back a couple of steps, and now I'm going to move the horse's shoulders to the left, and back a couple of steps. See how after we moved, he got a little stiff on the bridle. Move the shoulders to the right, and back. I want the moving the shoulders to be all one movement with the back up. There we go, that was better. If I move the shoulders, and the horse gets stiff and loses its rhythm, then that stiffness in the back up. So to get that horse soft and loose backing up, we're gonna back, move the shoulders, and maintain that softness. Got a little stiff right there. Maintain that rhythm in the back up. All right, we'll walk over here where you can see me better and do it again. Whoa. Take the slack out. A little squeeze with both legs because his head was so high. Now I'm going to move the shoulders over. A little squeeze. Shoulders the other way. A little squeeze. There we go. Cluck. See if I can get a little faster step. 
Move the shoulders. The head goes up. I'll give a little squeeze with both legs. Move the shoulders. Right there, we got a little stiff, so I'll kind of fan my legs. Move the shoulders. That was better. Oop, head went up. Squeeze. Good boy. Now, once you get him started back in straight, I can start adding a little bit of speed. The way I want to add speed, I'm not going to pull any fat, any harder, because if I pull harder, that's just going to make him push harder in his face. What I want to do is encourage him to go faster with a cluck and with my legs. Now, if you think about it, if you hold your arms up over your head and somebody tickles you in the belly, you're going to pull your arms down. That's basically what I'm going to do with him when this left front foot is out, I'm going to tickle his belly on this side to bring it back a little further. So to begin with, I'm not going to try to make him back faster, I'm going to try to make him step further. So let's try that. Whoa. I'm just giving him a little bit of a touch in the belly. Let him get started. Left leg, right leg, squeeze. Squeeze. He's getting a little crooked, so I'll bring his shoulders back over. Go back some more. See how much quicker that backup was than it was just a minute ago. So that'll get him started back in a little quicker. Now you notice, whoa. As I was pushing with my legs, that was pushing him laterally just a little bit. So to get him to back quicker and straight, what I'm going to do is just kind of take both, hand, both legs and just fan them to get him to back straight and quicker. And I'll give a little cluck. Now he's kind of sullen. I'll give him a little pull. we go. Head come up. He got a little bit worried. We're just going to do it again. Pull. Take the slack out. Get his feet moving. A little fan with my legs. Now his shoulders are going to the right. We're going to straighten him up. Go back and do that again. Whoa. Head's going up. When his head goes up, I feel him get a little stiffer. So what I'm going to do is give a little push with my right leg. A little push with my left leg. There we go. Right leg. See, when I push with my leg, see his head goes down. Makes him go a little crooked, but that's okay. And there we go. Got his head down. I'll reward that. Let's go back and do that again. Whoa. Take the slack out. A little bit of squeeze. There we go. Squeeze. Now he's kind of locking his feet up just a little bit. We slowed down. I feel his body getting stiff. We're also turned off with the front this way. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit of right leg, straighten him up, which will also tell him to pick that right leg up. Right leg, straighten up. There we go. A little bit of left leg, left leg, right leg. Left leg. See, I'm just kind of pushing right there in the belly. Give me a couple little bit quicker steps and we'll stop. So I froze this picture out of the last little clip. And I wanted to show you his hips are down. His back end is up underneath him. He's using his back end to back up. His, his head is perpendicular to the ground. And he gave me a few little bit quicker steps. So I like what I got right there in that backup, and that was a good place to stop. 
So that's some exercises that I do to help my horse back up better, back up straighter, back up with a little bit of rhythm, Whoa. and back up rounded with his head down and his shoulders elevated. I want to thank you for watching today. Uh, please click the thumbs up and the subscribe button. And until next time, thank you for watching.